Hi, I'm Katie with SheFit, and this is a moment of calm. Here at SheFit, we are all about support. So we've created 12 episodes of yoga and tips on how to break and find that little moment of calm in your day. You guys have been doing a great job following along with these videos so far. Today we're going to work down on the ground with some hip openers. So begin in tabletop, hands and knees. Start with bringing your right knee all the way to the right edge of your mat. And your shin can either work parallel towards the top edge. If that's not comfortable, find an angle, your heel closer to your groin perhaps, that works better in your body. And then work to square your hips, that's important. If your hips are kind of sagging down one way or another, you can take a block or something to support you, put it underneath and then start to walk your hands out and come down. It's really nice to be able to rest your head on something. So either your hands, your block, the floor, and just breathe and settle into the shape. start to re-support yourself here. Come on up. Take your back leg, swing it in front of you. So you're going to crisscross your shins. This is option one. Sit tall like this. Option two is to lift your foot on top of your thigh. Now if this is uncomfortable but you want to try it, there's kind of a middle ground where you take your block right here in front of your right knee. Set your foot on your block or your book. Any one of those options are perfect. You're gonna sit tall, you can stay here, or begin to walk your hands out. Just a couple more breaths. Shake your legs out to reset. And then start in tabletop. We'll do the other side. Half pigeon. So bring your left knee to the left edge of your mat. Set up the same way. Start to come down. I'm going to show you an option, a modification if this bothers your knees. You can lie flat on your back. Cross your left ankle over your right thigh. You can stay like this and use your hand for resistance. Or to make it a little more intense, you can hug your knee, hug that figure four shape into your chest. Keep breathing. See if you can start to create an exhale here that's longer than your inhale, just to sort of give your body that signal that we're working to slow down and to calm down. Good work. Start to come up. Bring your right leg in front of you. We'll take double pigeon. So you can crisscross your shins or you can stack them. A lot of yoga teachers will say that your hips are sort of like the junk drawers of your body. We store lots of stuff in this area. So sometimes these are poses that you might not want to do, but they're often really, really good to kind of release and get a fresh start. Keep breathing. Either a tall spine, or you can walk your hands a little more forward, just to vary the degree of intensity. Press yourself back up. Undo your legs. Give them a little shake. Really nice work.
bring your hands together in front of your heart. Take a really proud breath in here and let that go. In support of each other, together we say namaste. Thank you for watching. I'm Katie with SheFit and this is a moment of calm. Thank you.